what's up guys it's been a long time and I'm sorry about that I don't well I do have a pretty good excuse actually it's just that I did make two videos one of them I just really didn't like so I was trying to figure out a way to make it better but I just was kind of over it and didn't upload it um, the week before last and then last week I had a video idea but I didn't finish it so that's why there's no video for two weeks but I promised I would put out a video this week so here it is I do not break any promises so here we go <laughs> in my bedroom. I am in the office slash guest room and there is a reason why. Now recently I saw this video and I don't know if all of you have seen it or if any of you have seen it but it's a video with um, Justin and Jimmy Fallon and by Justin I mean Timberlake not Bieber and they're doing a sketch about how stupid hashtags are and I have hated hashtags from the very 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 beginning I thought I'd share with you some of the feelings I have towards hashtags and why I feel the way I do about them. Now, it's not hashtags that I hate, it's the way people use them. They tend to overuse them and they stupidly use them. I feel like it's okay to use, you know, one or two hashtags, but when you have like 40 hashtags in one tweet, that's like insane and you really need to cut that out. I'm going to show you some examples right now, and yeah, I'm not just speaking hypothetical. These are actual tweets that I found. Some of them I don't know, some of them I unfortunately am related to, and they are constant abusers of hashtags, and I'm going to show you them right now. So here is the first one. This is a tweet from someone who I'm not going to name, but they said, you are automatically labeled a douchebag when you have Abercrombie written across your butt, which is true. Then, wait a minute, they put hashtag tool, hashtag dbag, hashtag people watching, hashtag I have no life. Are all of those necessary? Really? Here's another. This is also a tweet. My reaction to Austin and Natalie's cutest line ever. Hashtag I'm lame. Hashtag need a life. Life is spelled wrong, by the way. Hashtag too cute. Hashtag can't handle it. Um, you know what I can't handle? All your hashtags. Now this one is from Instagram. And it says, I just found out that David Tutera is in Chicago and I had a spasm attack. Can he just become my best friend and plan my wedding? Which every girl, you know, dreams of because Dame Tutera is amazing. But she then hashtagged it with multiple hashtags saying hashtag dead, hashtag love him, hashtag fangirling so hard, hashtag Dame Tutera, hashtag Chicago. Why would you hashtag Dame Tutera when you tag David Tutera? I don't get it. Now this one, we're going back to Twitter, and it is from someone who a lot of people know, and he's quite popular on this website that the video is on. So, that's just a little hint. And this person said, God, that was such a missed opportunity. I should have used hashtag instavention. Ugh, I give up on life. Hashtag ugh gay. Hashtag team gay. Hashtag oops gay. Hashtag twink oops. Hashtag gay. He basically just put like, how many? One, two, three, four, five hashtags to say that you're gay. I think we get it. Now this one is also from Twitter and also from the same person. And it says, 
I want to hold an intervention for gays who use 40 hashtags. In parentheses it says, hashtag gay boy, hashtag gay, hashtag teen gay, hashtag twink pride, hashtag cute gay, hashtag jack life, etc. In parentheses, on each Instagram. Now I think he's using this one ironically, which, you know, I'm a, I love irony just as much as the next person, so I'm not as mad at this one as I am at, you know, other ones. Because, you know, it's kind of funny, he's kind of using it ironically. So that's fine, but, you know, still. Hashtags. Now, I'm not just completely, like, against hashtags. I just think everything in moderation. One or two hashtags is fine. Like, this person, for example, that I'm about to show you, tweeted something, and the hashtag actually added something to the tweet and kind of, you know, made it funny. And this tweet says, I accidentally ate all the marshmallows out of the Lucky Charms. Oops. Hashtag sorry not sorry. That's really funny. I wonder who tweeted that. So, you see, it's just one hashtag and it's not bad, like, you know, it's kind of funny, or <laughs> I guess, you know, it, it can be seen as funny, but it's good because it's just one and you're not, like, choking on all the hashtags. So those are just a few examples of the hashtag abusers and I think it's really time for the world to stop abusing hashtags because, I mean, they can only take it for so long, right? Like, who knows when the hashtags are just gonna rebel against us and start ruling the world. So everything in moderation is good. Now the people who I used as examples know who they are and I'm talking to you, so let's use less, okay? You know, less is more most of the time. In this case, it definitely is. And for those of you I didn't use, I know you're out there, and you know who you are. You use hashtags quite a lot too, so let's stop. And, you know, try using like one or two. I know it's hard to just quit being cold turkey, so let's just try cutting it down a bit, yeah? And for those of you who are like me and rarely use hashtags, good job. I, like, maybe have tweeted a hashtag, like, once every hundred tweets. I don't know, because I don't even have, I don't know how many tweets I have. Well, the point is, I rarely use hashtags because they're not all that necessary. So the lesson that you, I hope that you take away today is to stop abusing hashtags. You know, peace and love. It's a good motto. So that's all I got for you today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and I appreciate it greatly. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and uh, tell me how you feel about hashtags in the comments. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you use them? Yeah, so let me know. Hopefully I'm not alone in this, you know, because it would feel really great to know that I have other people on my side about this war against hashtags. And it's something that we should take seriously. So I will see you guys next week, definitely, and maybe possibly again this week. So kind of pay attention to my channel. But yeah, that's all for today. See you guys next week. Bye!